Hello, my name is Avery Miskowski, and today I'll talk to you about the Enlightenment era. I chose the Enlightenment because I thought it was cool how a lot of new things were created and people began to adapt to new mindsets. It is important because it, and it, it started a lot of new things, like tea. They would mix this with boiling water and it would become tea. A lot of people still do this today. And it also started the importance of coal. This is what the old coal mines used to look like. They were very dangerous. And sometimes they would even have send, uh, six to seven year olds working in them. On to the facts. People thought tea was pie falling. And another name for the, for the enlightenment was the age of light. A lot of things invented back then were used in modern days. Uh, they valued open and honest trades. That corresponds to the best-selling book, Emil. It focused on the simplicities of life. Back to the facts. It was when this started when coal became extremely important. In France, it was illegal to have foreign cottons. cottons. Now on to the main artifact, the camera. Now, of course, this is not scale to size. They were a lot bigger. They were used like any other camera now, except they were a lot more complex. They have evolved uh, very much greatly, and they were not owned. They were not owned by normal people. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. I, hi, I'm Matthew Killian, and I chose the scientific revolution. I chose this topic because it's really interesting. Um, to me, and the scientific revolution is important because. Um, uh, kind of set the way path for um, future scientists when they make scientific messages and um, it relates to our life today because uh, without them we wouldn't have uh, amazing discoveries today and an interesting fact I learned was I only have three people on my board, but there were many, many scientists who made, like, or came up with inventing these things. Um, facts, uh, Catholic beliefs were that everything orbited the Earth. Um, the, we found out <clears throat> the heart is a pump. Uh, Galileo was the first person to see the moons on Jupiter. Um, the Earth is really heliocentric. Um, the scientific method was created in Galileo made the telescope and Isaac Newton discovered gravity this time. Okay. What's your artifact? Oh. Um, so this is Ptolemy's model of the universe and he had the earth and the moon and the earth in the middle. And on the social studies book, it only had six, six planets. And it basically was just regular, except you switched the moon and the sun out basically. On this one, <clears throat> you have the sun, um, all the planets, and that's Copernicus' model of the universe. Hello, my name is Elizabeth. Today I would like to tell you about the Reformation. I chose this topic because I have never learned about anything about it before now. The Reformation is important because it shows that not only is conflict between countries, but also between religions and their followers. Also, it is important because it shows that even one group that has been stable for a while can change and conflict over time. Finally, this is important because it teaches us that we can't be unfair to the members of any group, otherwise they all split up the group. This relates to our life today because it is still happening. People are splitting up religions. They disagree with some some teachings or the church officials and break it up. One interesting fact that, that I learned was that back then some priests used the money 
they received to make palaces for themselves or they just used it for their own personal gain. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day. My artifact is a diorama of a monk and then he's selling indulgences which were a certificate that was uh, that were relieving a person of their sins. Uh, most of the time it was for people who are already in purgatory and then they got uh, to receive them. Uh, they have to pay money and so that's the, what the bag is there for. Um, that so that's the indulgences. Hello, my name is Logan Hills. Today I would like to tell you about the age of aspiration. So this topic because it has a large impact on our lives. Age of aspiration is important because if the age of aspiration didn't happen, we wouldn't be living in the US today. Also, it opened us up to new trade routes. The age of exploration allowed us to discover additional land throughout the world. The knowledge discovered during the age of exploration is still used to import and export goods from countries all over the globe. One interesting fact I learned was Europeans referred to Southeast Asia and India as the East Indies. Thank you. Um, my artifact is magnetic compass. The magnetic needle provides a reliable way to find the magnetic North Pole. The magnetic compass was invented in China around the 12th century but didn't find its way to Europe until 200 years later. The magnetic compass was used on every seaworthy ship. The magnetic compass was a key tool during the long distance voyages taken by the Europeans in the 15th century. Hi, my name is Jenny Kazuda. Today I would like to tell you about the age of exploration. Uh, I chose this topic because I think it's cool and interesting, and I just like it. <laughs> um, the age of exploration is important because many things happen and a lot was figured out and created and used in different ways. This relates to our life today because many important things happen. Some technological things wouldn't be here today if the age of exploration didn't happen. Um, one interesting fact I learned was that 200 um, that out of the 237 original voyagers in five ships, only 18 men and one ship returned. Um, my artifact is silk, and uh, I chose silk because silk began to be used for decorative means and also in less luxurious ways. Musical instruments, fishing, and bowl making all usually utilize silk. Silk became known or popular in the early 1500s, and Peasants, however, did not have the right to wear silk until the Yin Dynasty. I hope you enjoyed my project. Hello, my name is Noah Takis. Today I would like to tell you about the Industrial Revolution. I chose this topic because I think it is very interesting how they made everything with little technology. The Industrial Revolution is important because this is the area that led us to cars, electricity, and much more. This is also the era where people found out machines could do what we do, but better and more efficient. This relates to today's life because we are always inventing new things to make life easier. A fun fact I learned was that this is the era, era where the light bulb was made. For my artifact, it shows a steam engine. Um, Thank you for listening to my presentation. Okay. Hi, good morning. My name is Alexa Rions. I would tell I would like to tell you about the Renaissance. I chose this topic because I thought it was the most interesting. The Renaissance is important because um, we have different techniques for art, and we also have the printing press, which was invented in the time period. This relates to our life because artists use all the different techniques they they came up with. One interesting fact I learned that the birthplace of the Renaissance was Italy. Um, thank you for listening. This is my um, mm -hmm. artifact. Um, it was used for religious reasons. Um, it was like a dome, but it was used for mass, and it was important because it was a place to worship God. Thank you. Hi, my name is Noah Carlos. Today I would like to tell you about the new common steam engine. I chose this topic to seem pretty interesting. The Industrial Revolution is very important because it has transformed economies that have been based on agricultural 
into economies based on large-scale industry. There was also an increase in wealth production of goods. New forms of tra transportation, like the train, were invented in the Industrial Revolution. This relates to our life today because it is still ongoing today, and more and more things are being developed. One interesting fact I learned was that it all started with coal. Thank you for listening. And I, my artifact is a um, steam engine. Hello, my name is Taylor Rock. My topic is Medieval Europe. I chose this topic because I was very interested in seeing what happened during this time period. Green Alley is important because it shows how it changed over the years and how it the containers and how the taste and similars between now and there. The ways they used it was different because they used it in all kinds of things, not just medicine and drinking. The topic relates to show that all things have changed over the years, but not just one thing. One interesting fact was that people shoved people out of their house once they had the black plague. So yeah, this is the beer and that's the alley. And thank you for listening to the presentation. Hello, my name is Kaylin Hightower and today I'm talking about the scientific revolution. I chose this topic because there was a lot of good facts and seemed interesting to me. The scientific revolution is important because it taught us so many new concepts and we still learn about them today. This relates to our life by teaching and get going further. One interesting, one interesting fact was at the end, they admired the government of England. Thank you for listening, I hope you liked it. My artifact was a thermoscope, which used to measure temperature and allowed water measures for the first time. Hello, I'm going to tell you about what, wait, hello, my name is Cal, I'm going to tell you about the Enlightenment. I chose this topic because it seemed really interesting and there, and there wasn't slavery in this period. There was also a lot of interesting facts. It was, it is important because the enlighten, Enlightenment made food more available, available to everybody. Also, the traits of the Enlightenment included being honest, inquisitive, and open. The Enlightenment inf influenced government, governmental structures. Um, this relates to our life today because food is available to many people t today still, and they use concept, concepts of scientific method back then too. Uh, one interesting fact I learned is the Enlightenment is also called the Age of Light. Thank you for listening. Um, I, I did like, uh, coffee became a lot more available in this like, and it, it was more readily available and it was more common, so I did coffee beans and that. Hi, my name is Gus, and I'm going to be talking about the Scientific Revolution. The Scientific Revolution was a breakthrough in the scientific community. It's where so many scientists and regular people alike came up with these theories that eventually led to laws that would lead to many more things in, in um, modern today. So, so many people I'm going to be talking about are Isaac Newton, Galileo Galilei, and really those also Copernicus. Copernicus was the man who came up with the heliocentric theory. The heliocentric theory was the theory of where the sun was the center of the universe and uh, earth orbited it. At first everybody thought that the earth was the center of the universe and the sun orbited the earth. And my fun facts are at first everybody thought the sun orbited the earth. Galileo was the first person to observe the moons of Jupiter, and um, the Scratties developed the deductive reasoning. And at first, uh, Isaac Newton uh, he practiced alchemy, not physics, which is weird because he came up with his three laws, which are some of the most important laws ever created: inertia, uh, and equal and opposites. I don't even know how to say that. And another really important thing that was developed in the scientific revolution was the magnetic poles. The North Pole and the South Pole had different magnetic fields, which would lead to our, um, which would lead to the fact that we are protected from the sun by our, um, by the magnetic poles. What is your artifact? Our, my artifact is the heliocentric theory. This is a paper of it. 
uh, shows that the sun is actually the center of the universe while Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune. Hi, my name is Patrick. Um, uh, I had the Industrial Revolution. I picked the Industrial Revolution because I thought it sounded really interesting and cool. I think the Industrial Revolution is important because most a lot of things made in the Industrial Revolution we still use today. Um, some of my interesting facts were that um, the light bulb was actually made in 1806 in England, not in 18- not by Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison made like the light bulb lamp. And I th- Oh yeah. And um Oh yeah. My um my artifact, the typewriter, because this is one one of the things they made in the industrial revolution. And um, oh yeah, so the typewriter was basically, um, they, they didn't actually use the typewriter for the thir- first two years it was made, because everybody thought it didn't work, but then in most factories, they started using it. Hi, my name is Alexei. I'd like to tell you about Age of Exploration. I chose this topic because I thought it was really interesting to me and I thought that exploration got me interested. It is important because in the 18, I mean, the 14,000s and the 15,000s, Europeans gradually gained control of the Americans and parts of the Asia. Asia. Many events came together to create the right time of our overseas exploration. During the Middle Ages, Europeans began began to buy silk, spices, and other things from Asia. This relates to our life today because of map, GPS, phones, and maps on the phone. One interesting fact I learned was where we got things from and how. Um, thank you for listening, and then my artifact is the astrolabe thing. Um, an astrolabe was made out of brass or iron. It had discs with star maps and coordinate lines. The pin was in the position of the North Star. It was very, very helpful back then, but now we just do, we have like maps and compasses. And that is a quick sketch of it, so, bye. Hello everyone, my name is Carson Lott. Today I would like to tell you about how the Black Plague affected human life during medieval European centuries. I chose this topic because I found studying about medieval Europe to be very interesting. Medieval Europe is important because the history during this time period can teach us all many lessons today. During this time period, humanity suffered the Black Death, or Black Plague, which is also known as the Bubonic Plague. This plague took the lives of many, caused economic decline, wages increased, less food, and high demand for workers. This this relates to our life today because today we are living with our own plague called COVID-19. One interesting fact I learned was that the Black Plague started in China just like COVID-19. All the life-changing events during medieval Europe and the Black Plague are the same events we are living with today. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my presentation on medieval Europe and the Black Plague. Uh, My artifact, the artifact that I have chosen is a cemetery and it is inspired by a painting that depicts images or of people sick, dying, and being uh, buried because, because of the Black Death. Uh, the other artifact is in, that is depicted in the in that actual scientific representation of the bubonic plague or black death. Uh, the plague was created in the 1330s and lasted into the 1350s. The artifact uh, 
The significance of my artifact signifies the burial of the bodies who died, who did not survive the Black Death. Though COVID-19 is not, not an artifact, I felt it needed to be represented, represented because of the because of the comparison the comparison made. Hello, my name is Sean Graham, and today I'd like to tell you about the French Revolution. I chose this topic because I know a lot about it and want to know more. The French Revolution is important because it is a big part of the French history. It changed government and its people. It also helped with the other countries and uh, fought with other countries. And it relates to our life today because it brought new government and uh, it brought new government to other countries. And interesting facts I learned was Mary Antoinette loved Brioche, which and she was the queen. Um, the oath called the Tennis Court Oath, and the Tennis Court Oath was signed by Commerce to demonstrate King Louis the Fourteenth that they did not work in absolute monarchy. The guillotine was used 18,000 times. The first French zoo was opened um, during the French Revolution, and they were at war with Austria, Spain, and the British, and Louis. And this is my artifact. It's the guillotine. And thank you for listening, and I hope you learned something new. Hello, my name is Parker. Today I would like to tell you about medieval Europe. I chose this topic because um, I like swords. That's mainly the only reason. Medieval Europe is important because a lot of important events in history happened then. We wouldn't have as much of an understanding of plagues as we did if that didn't happen. And um, it's important because they um, made um, a lot of renovations. This relates to our life today because we know more about um, the plagues and how to treat them. One, one interesting fact I learned was animals could be put on trial. Um, thank you for your time. My artifact is a sword. I picked this sword. They used the sword for, um, for battles, wars, and um, people that used them were um, knights, warriors, and usually kings. Um, the the sword is a um, sharp metal blade um, that they use that they use to um, sometimes behead people. I mean, that's it. Hi, my name is Lauren. I would like to tell you about the French Revolution. I chose this topic because it is important in the French history. The French Revolution is important because the French wanted freedom and they got it, but not easily. Many people died for no reason and political, polit political parties struggled to gain power after and in that caused more death. It, today, it relates to our life. But it teaches us to treat others kindly and not spend more than our budget. And one interesting fact that I learned was 40,000 people died on a guillotine under the Jacobin Club's rule. Um, my artifact is brioche. Um, Mary Antoinette said, qui mange de la brioche, which is roughly translated, let them eat cake. The French people's bread was made of 70% sawdust at the time. So they needed bread and stuff. And in brioche, there's flour, eggs, sugar, salt, butter, and water. Um, thanks for listening. Hello, my name is Mitchell. Today I would like to tell you about the people's want for freedom and equality during the French Revolution. I chose the topic because I thought the guillotine was really cool because I like knives. The French Revolution is important because before the French Revolution, people were poor and had no proper education. There was also great inequality in France. The French Revolution brought freedom, equality, and prosperity to the French people. This relates to our life today because freedom, equality, and self-rule began with America's independence. That is what makes our country so great today. One interesting fact I learned was that the colors of the revolution were red, white, and blue. Thank you for listening very attentively to my presentation. Um, I chose the guillotine 
The guillotine, basically, it was a killing device and it chopped people's heads off. And it's really cool because it was supposed to make executions really quick so people like died quickly, but everyone was afraid of it because it was like deadly. So yeah. Uh, hi, this is, I did the enlightenment page. My name is Reina. I would like, I, I, I would like to tell you about the enlightenment. And I chose this topic because it sounded interesting and it was a lot of fun to learn about. The enlightenment is important because it has improved how we do many things today and it helped in, improve the world and what it is today. It helped technology become what it was and Uh, one interesting fact is that people started to lose, I mean, people started to go away from the government and just not listen anymore. So, yeah. And this is my artifact. It's the telescope and played an important role about technology and how we saw the world. Hi, I'm Lily Schendel. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you about the Enlightenment. I chose this topic because I found it interesting on how much things um, changed over time and I wanted to dig more into the reasoning for it. The Enlightenment is important because it brought a new light to the way people thought of things. It let people be more creative and not feel like they had to do everything one person said. While it did lead to many controversies, I think that it was a big step to getting into a better world. This relates to our life today because it influenced many new ideas like the necktie mining and ways to have more ability to things like coffee, tea, chocolate, tobacco, and more. One interesting fact I learned was that it was illegal to import foreign cottons, although many people still continue to do so. Um, my artifact isn't really like an artifact, but first you can see um, Mary Wollstone, then you can see, I won't flip it, but you can see Voltaire and then you can see um, Rousseau. So thank you for listening. Welcome to my history exhibit. My name is Barrett Gingloff. Today I would like to tell you about the scientific revolution. I chose this topic because I like science, science and science is very interesting to me. The scientific revolution is important because many important discoveries were made during this time. Inertia, microorganisms, and the scientific method are among some of the more well-known discoveries. This period had many important people in it, including Galileo, William Harvey, Newton, Copernicus, and Descartes. This, this relates to our life today because it advanced science very far, and science might not be as far along as it is without the scientific revolution. One interesting fact I learned was that Newton practiced alchemy. Thank you for listening to my history exhibit. Uh, this artifact is a heliocentric model which, that was developed by Copernicus. Hello, my name is Audrey. Today I would like to tell you about the Renaissance. I chose this topic because it is very interesting about how much people loved art and all the great achievements that happened in this period. The Renaissance is important because it has influenced our art and changed the way we look at, describe, and think about art. This relates to our life today because it has helped us better understand history through sculptures and paintings. One interesting fact that I learned was people spent 6% of their income on art. My artifact is David. He was created by Michelangelo. David is carved from marble that other sculptures didn't want. David is over 500 years old. Overall, he's a remarkable piece of art. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation about the Renaissance. So you mentioned and it was invented in 1698 by Thomas Newcomen. The Newcomen is the oldest known steam engine for pumping water, and the first operational steam engine was made in 1712. Since then, many other versions of the steam engine have been invented. The steam engine has been an important invention in history as a method of draining water from deep mines and was therefore a vital component in the Industrial Revolution in Britain. Okay. Hi, welcome to my social studies museum. It's my artifact and my poster. 
Uh, my name is Amy Potter. Today I'd like to tell you about the Protestant Reformation. I'm mostly going to talk about Martin Luther. I chose this topic because I found Martin Luther would be interesting. I like that he is bold and stood up for what he believed. The Reformation is important because it was the time of the first heresies. Uh, Martin Luther felt angry about the sale of indulgences. He didn't think that people were even better than what was required to have salvation. He didn't like that their deeds were kept in a box for the Pope to choose from. Luther believed that the only true power was the Bible, and he translated it into German. He disagreed with the English about the Eucharist. He also didn't agree with celibacy, and he married Katharina von Bora. And finally, the Peace of Augsburg was passed to say that whoever ruled would choose a religion. This relates to our life today because we still have Catholic churches, and some people do and don't believe in what it teaches. One fact I found interesting uh, was that I learned that some people got so mad that they broke the stained glass windows. Thanks for listening to what I had to say about the Reformation. And um, I chose to do a, a cracked stained glass window because, like I said, some people got mad enough to break the window. And I put a Bible underneath the window because Martin Luther translated it, and I wanted it to be under the window, like representing faith after bad things like the Reformation, um, because Luther said that he thinks that the Bible is the only real part. Hello, my name is Max, and today I'm talking about the Industrial Revolution. I chose the Industrial Revolution because it's cool seeing how we've progressed. Without the steam engine, for example, we wouldn't have Teslas and self-driving cars. The Industrial Revolution is important because uh, uh, the Industrial Revolution... Um, I chose the steam engine because it played a big part in the Industrial Revolution. The steam engine was the base of all future trains, cars, planes, etc. Thomas new common mate uh but thomas salbury built the first steam engine in 1698 but then uh thomas new common made it a little better james watt improved the steam engine in the mid 1800s so it was able to be more useful for humans overall the steam engine was a big part in the industrial revolution the Industrial Revolution relates to our life today because during the Industrial Revolution, there was a lot of child labor. Children were forced into the coal mines at the age of seven. Today, um, we've gotten a little bit better, but um, in some parts of the world, uh, there's still child labor going on. One fact I learned that was that pineapple was really valuable and it was in many famous paintings from that time. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I hope you enjoyed